How to create elliptical gradients in Photoshop 2024, PC or Mac. In Photoshop 2024, go to the Gradient tool in the Tools panel. Then go up here and select Gradient, not the classic gradient, but Gradient. Select any gradient from here and then apply the gradient. Simply click on the document and drag. Once you've done that, you notice you've got some controls or widgets around the edge. Well, there's one here. What you can do with that, you can select this and you can simply just drag inwards. So you can squeeze that gradient to create an elliptical gradient design very quickly. Now, one thing about this is it's a gradient layer. So as a gradient layer, if you go off it, now you can't move it around. What you need to do is go back here, double click to bring it up and then this panel, and you can modify the gradient. You can go and select any other gradient, maybe that one or that one or that one or that one. But any you select, what you can do, you can move it and reposition it. But you can't change that widget. That widget is not accessible here. So click OK. To access it, simply go over here to the gradient tool. And with the gradient tool again selected, you can now see as well as you can see that's not enabled. You can then just select that and drag that out to increase or decrease. Now there's a certain point, it just stops will not go too far, it will just go there so it's not a super thin line. And you can then change it and tweak it and move it around. Now you can also do the same with another one of the gradients. So here again, go here to the gradient tool, gradient, and again you can use this gradient or another one, but now here, this end one, the diamond one. So diamond gradient, and just generate that. Now, by default, it uses exactly the same. So you can see, you can now just select this and again, just drag in or out. You get a square design or you get a squeezed square design or diamond design. And you can create all kinds of different designs. Now, because you've got transparency with this gradient, not all of the gradients will have transparency, but you can use blend modes to get around that. You've got this design here. Well, what you can do, you can always duplicate this. So gain the layer and you can go down here and duplicate. So duplicate layer and click OK. Again, to move it, just simply go here and just drag. And you can see now you've got two diamonds. You can also, if you wish, hold down the Ultra Option key and drag. But to do that, you need to use the Move tool. So just drag. And you've got another one. However, you'll notice what's happened when you drag it. It doesn't move to that new position. What you need to do is go here, double click, and now you can move it. Slightly odd the way it does it, but you can create all kinds of different combinations of these gradients using this approach. And of course, what you can also do is you can select all of them, all the selected, and now you can go to layer and down to smart objects, and convert smart objects, make it all into a single design, which you can then move around and manipulate. They're still live, so you can go back to them at any point. So again, gradient tool, set that's gradient, not the classic gradient. That feature is not available in the classic gradient, just in the gradient, and select maybe a different gradient. So let's go with that one, and now gain a radial, and just apply again, and you can see now you've got that, and you can then drag this out and expand outwards. You can still use the other control, so just select that, and you can drag and rotate the design in all kinds of ways. If you've got any questions, please let me know in the comments below. A like or dislike, always appreciated. Thank you much.